For six minutes and 14 seconds today, Wasion was the center of the galaxy. Eclipse chasers came here from California, Mansfield, Cleveland, and as far away as New Mexico. Yep, just taking a little bite out of the sun around nine. WTOL 11 was there on May 10th, 1994, when an annular eclipse moved directly across the country. The peak was in our backyard, with Wasion hosting scientists and astronomy buffs from across the country to record the historic event. Other partial eclipse passings happened in 1984, 79, 70, but were far less significant locally than the 1994 annular eclipse. Well worth it, well worth it. Yeah, everybody here I think enjoyed it and had a lot of fun. At its darkest in Toledo, the sun was 89% blocked by the moon. The shadow passed early in the afternoon and air temperature readings dropped by several degrees. Some even reported a noticeable chill feeling in the air. Do you think you remember the 94 eclipse? Well, if your memory's a bit foggy, keep this in mind. There were no other eclipse events that happened in our area between 1994 and the most recent partial eclipse in 2017. April 8th is the date to keep in mind this time around. For those of you who remember the 2017 or 1994 eclipse, this is going to be different, totally different. The 1994 annular eclipse differs from April's total eclipse in that although the moon does go directly in front of the sun, it's too far away to cover up the entire surface of the sun. The eclipse this time around will be complete darkness. The moon will block out 100% of the sunlight. How about we give you more perspective this April to get the same 89% effect that was experienced back in 1994. You would need to move far away from the path of totality, which passes locally and you can see on the red line here. In fact, you'd have to move all the way to Milwaukee, a 230 mile jump. This is truly a once in a lifetime event and something you've never seen before or will see again around here. Reporting in studio, I'm meteorologist Ryan Weekman.